here in which Garcia died. We'll see if he's overly cautious. And as expected, as, Mike Tyson, at him. as expected, Mike Tyson oh, stop, 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 comes stop, 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 stop. out fast. The brawling tactics, a straight right hand, a whip right by Tyson. Tyson then with a left uppercut. When they get close, tie him up for sure and tie him up right away. But if Aaron is a warrior, he will. The more of what he wants, a sort of boxing match rather than just these big slugging. Holyfield comes back with a left hook. Holyfield with a combination to Tyson's head. You know what? There and it's going to be one shot, and that's it. The decibel level here. Getting close a lot. We've been wondering. Oh, a straight right hand by Tyson that landed. But Holyfield showed as we head for the bow. They continue to go after the bow. He wasn't hurt at all, and he landed some good shots. That's what we wanted to see. No intimidation factor here whatsoever. Connected several times in round one. But Tyson was able to duck under a number of others. A wild swing and a miss by Tyson. Holyfield's... Vicious left hook there by Tyson, but it was warded off nicely by Holyfield. Well, we were talking about before. I'll tell you what, the crowd thought that Mike was hurt. This Mike had a good shot. A combination by Holyfield to the head of... Something unusual. Oh, a straight left hand by Holyfield. It's been Tyson holding on. Round three. Holyfield also showing more hand speed. One of them. Mike is not overwhelming him like he did everybody else. Everybody else fell out. Fell into my honeymoon in November 8th. I flew in to see the fight and it didn't happen. Good exchange here. Holding to round number three. As Holyfield looks to counter punch off the swinging miss. By Tyson. Oh, right. Echo right. our thoughts that saying Holyfield's looking to counter off your miss. We'll see what happens here. Round four. It's the longest that's gone since. Right. Mike's got to find a way to rip the uppercuts down up the middle from on the inside. He's not getting to Evander cleanly. Hand the straight down, right hand over the top's down, not working. Down. He's got to get up. Oh. Holyfield coming on. A right uppercut. Counter punch combination. Or they get let him have some in the round. Good combination, fast, out slick him. But back comes Tyson with a hard punch. And on the inside, what? <laughs> Round number five, Jay Bright says to Tyson, work the body, work inside. <laughs> Holyfield isn't letting tight by, by Tyson, but a glancing blow, back comes Holyfield. I think Tyson's got to get back into his rhythm again. You'll see that he's, he is still bobbing and weaving. Holyfield is disorganizing Tyson. He's keeping him out of his attack. That hurt. Everybody left hook to the chin. I'll tell you what. That got him in his attention and good. Tyson unleashing uppercuts to the body, digging to the chin. Tyson's force, the force of his blow is changing everything. Short left hook by Tyson, right on the by Holyfield. And Tyson. And Evander has the reach. He should use that up that jab more. Work the body, and that's what takes the legs out. The power stuff is coming on now. Right. right. Round number six. Round five was a good one for Tyson. The crowd a little quiet. After four rounds, they go to the score cards on an accidental foul. Now, both wailing away. What an exchange. A cut not looking good above the left eye of Mike Tyson. So now a sense of urgency hey, begins. This round like a champion, like the overachieving warrior oh, that he is. Oh, down goes Tyson. Evander Holyfield is letting it all hang out. They can pick it up battle after the battle. That's what it was, Bobby. We go to round seven in the sixth round. Holyfield put Tyson on the camp. Look at this aggressive animal. He's a little confused by what's going on. He may be working on sheer instinct right now. This crowd continues. Tyson. Far and from it. Some. And then some. Far from it. He's fighting with the... Tyson fights at such a frantic pace, and you pointed that out. Look out now as they come together. Again, the headbutt. That one buckled. Time was just a flash of heads. We enter round eight, scheduled for 12 for the WBA Heavyweight Championship.
Okay. Get it done. Evander's zeroing in on a big shot. Tyson is confused, frustrated. He unleashed a flurry there, but Holyfield comes right back and counters to the head. Start to wear out as he does in all fights. If that's the case, that may be the only chance that Tyson has to pull this out. Fatigue but has tired here is Tyson. The guy that looks worn is Tyson, not Holyfield. But four nothing fights, and he is not ready to fight the 12 real hard. It may be a reversal of fortune if Holyfield continues to have it going against just about everybody's thoughts and views going to this fight. I think they pulled about 40 riders across the country. One guy. Holyfield has always known in the past what tools to bring to a fight. And he's proving it again here. Look at this toe-to-toe -to -toe action. Go to go. Scorcher, a heavyweight fight for the first time in a long time. He... Holyfield, the chance for the crowd again. Ooh. Oh, straight right hand by Evander Holyfield. That shook Tyson momentarily. He got much attention, much firing back, and now the, the slugfest ensues. He kind of boxing and trying to land that one big shot. And that's a puncher's mistake. You lose rounds, 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 and hope to get that knockout. Holyfield is just... Right. Mike Tyson down in the sixth round, and Evander Holyfield looking to dig deep, deep, deep. Now Mike is getting to that little level where he might need a knockout. I don't know what the judges are looking at. I don't know how much they give a favorite uh, immortal-like fighter coming, but... I have him ahead by so much. I have Vendor ahead by so much that it's getting to the point where he, either he gets a knockout or he's going to win this fight. A right hook followed by a left by Holyfield and Tom see, I've got him ahead by three, and uh, meaning that if he bought one every round, if you can only get a draw. That could have been dangerous. Holyfield able to Tyson missing and Holyfield countering with a right uppercut. Whole phalanx of of cardiacs. A straight right hand by Mike Tyson that caught Holyfield on the jaw. Oh, a straight right combination by Holyfield. Holyfield looking to air it out. Holyfield's unloading now. He's taking a shot. He's going for it. Oh, Tyson's in trouble. Holyfield smothers Tyson. Looking to put Tyson down and end the fight. Tyson is not in trouble. He's saved by the ball. And now, here we go. Mike Tyson is a warrior, too. And he's going to have, he's still going to have that deep angle, Holyfield. Holyfield continues to dig in. A left hook to the head. He's got Tyson in trouble. Tyson's ready to go. A straight right hand. The chopper stops the fight. And Holyfield has won. I can't believe what I'm saying. It's the most unbelievable thing I've ever been privileged to witness. He's the winner by way of technical knockout in a stunning upset. The new WBA heavyweight champion of the world, Evander, the real deal.